In this video, we're going to cover selectors. Right now, I have my index page, and linked to it is my CSS style sheet. And inside of my body tags, I have nav, ul with li, right? Now, what we're creating here is essentially a nav bar for a page. Let's go and take a look what we have to work with, and here it is. Now, there's a few things I want to do. One, I want to add a background color to the entire nav. I want to remove these bullet points and I want everything to line up next to each other. I also want to get rid of this underline as well. So let's start with the background. You can go to main.css, type in nav. And again, this is the selector for this element right here. Let's write background color. We'll go with gray. Let's save it. Take a look and see what happened. All right, there we go. We're going to go back and what we need to do first is let's line everything up right next to each other. Now I know that they're not lining up next to each other because they're displayed as blocks with the li tag. So we need to display all of the li as inline. And the best way to do that is to come here and type in nav ul li. And we'll just do display inline. Now what this is doing is essentially saying there's a nav element and inside of that nav element there's a UI element and I want you to edit every single LI element inside of those two and give it this CSS rule. So now if we were to say create a whole other div for the footer but instead of nav we wrote footer this rule would not apply. Let's give that a look. There we go. So the rule is not applying because it doesn't have nav in it. It would start with footer. Next thing we need to do is remove that underline from the A tag. We can do something very similar, nav ul lia. And we'll do text decoration none. All right, there we go. One thing I want to fix really quick is this border that's going around it. I happen to know that's just from the body tag. A lot of browsers add their own margin on top. So we're seeing that here with the body tag. And actually, the UL is also adding some margin on top. So let's go and fix both of these things. So we'll give both the body tag and all ULs that are inside of nav a margin of zero. Go back here, refresh, there we go. All right, that's looking a lot better. All right, and that is how selectors work. So you essentially are just diving deeper into nested elements in order to change the rule. By doing this also, you have to remember, it actually gives it a little bit more weight. So maybe we could actually mess around with something here. Let's do um, color. Uh, let's do green, save that, go back here, see that the color is now green. When we go here and underneath, we'll just do a color purple, and we'll go back. And it didn't accept the rule. Now, normally in CSS, the rule that comes later on in the CSS style sheet will always overwrite it, but because you're adding these other selectors on, it's actually giving it more weight. So that's why this one is actually the leader and the one that is chosen to be displayed. So definitely keep that in mind. Good way to go about doing that is go back to your page, refresh it, inspect the element. And you'll even see here in our developer toolkit, nav ul lia is on top, meaning that it takes priority and it's right above just a alone. Definitely keep that in mind when using selectors. The more selectors you add on to it, the more weight and value that it has.